Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. I want to show you guys a few things you can use for your wings. Now, I'm going to cut out some stencils. I'm going to cut out uh, some heart stencils, and this is obviously wings. So, let's say you have a stencil with a heart. You can use the heart and make her wings. We'll do it out. You do it off this way, and then you'll take it and turn it. So the wings, she has two sets of wings. Very simple. These obviously are wing stencils, so you can add them and you can go on and you just ignore the hair underneath because you don't want the wings to cover it. You want it to look like it's on the back. So you'll just do your, uh, what's it called? Uh, you know, stamp your brush. What is it called? You'll do your stencil. I can't think of the name, but you'll stencil your stencil and that'll be a wing. So something else, like I said, you can do is I cut out a heart. All I did was fold a piece of paper in half. I cut out a heart that way. And then I did a little more pointy um, to do that. So you can do one of two things with this. Very simple to do the paper. You can take your two and you see you have, you have a wing. You can do your wing coming out this way. And then your other part of your wing coming out that way. So you'll paint them on and then you'll have two wings. You can just do one wing. You know, either any way you want to do it, you do it. This one I did a little more funky, I guess, more the funky heart. And I made it more, you know, more tattered looking in a sense. So you can do like that. You can take your stencil that you cut out and use that and do your stenciling inside that. Get your paint or spray or whatever you want to use. You have your own stencil going on there. And if you don't have any of that, I'm going to show you what else you can do. These are very, very simple ways to do it. Um, if you have a heart stamp, just outline with your ink pad or marker, even a watercolor or a permanent marker, outline that stamp and put it on there. Then you can paint inside the color that you want to use. So I'm going to use, uh, what am I going to use? What am I going to use? What am I going to use? I can't find my marker. I want to get these on, but I can't find my, what did I do with it? I hate when I, I had it sitting here because I was going to use it. All right. Okay. As always, so prepared. So prepared. Oh, she's my pencil. All right. This is not my pencil. This is my pen. I'm totally getting, uh, these are my pens. Is that a pen? I don't know what that is. Let's use you. All right. So I'm going to go in. And I'm going to take a piece of paper, and it's any type of paper you have, scrap paper, whatever. And you want to kind of make it straight across um, where you want the wing to start. Now, you can start the wing up here because if you want it out, and that's probably what I'm going to do. But I'm just going to draw. And I'm going to go over here and do the same thing. See how I'm drawing? just like that. So I have an idea. And how far out do you want it? Well, I want the first one. Do I want to do one or two? That's what I want to know. But I'm going to go here and I'm just going to do somewhat of a wing. So I have an idea of what I, what my wing is going to look like. And then I'm going to bring it down here. And then I'm going to go out this way. Right? very easy and then kind of bring it up there. Do you see how that is? Now try your best to match up on this side. The reason I like using these stencils is because you kind of get it. It's a very simple sh shape. You know, you do your heart here, you can do another heart going down that way and you get a great stencil. And I'll do that on the other, uh, on another paper just to show you. Now this is a watercolor, this is the Stabilo, um, but you can use your watercolor pencil or a regular pencil or whatever you want to use. Um, just try to, like I can see here, I got that little bump there, you know, but I won't color that in, but I want to try to make it 
as simple as I can. So it's coming out here. And, and then I come in with my thing here. Now I look in my, I, I look, I usually take a picture so I can see how even, I can see that this is way bigger than this. So I'm not digging on that. So I'm gonna kind of bring this in this way and then I can play with it when I go to paint it. And I like this look better than that look. I like it more bubbly because it's a more of a bubble shape. If that makes sense, a little more wider. So I'm just gonna kind of sketch that out. Now, the reason I tell you to use, I'm gonna do like this, a little wider, <coughs> watercolor pencil or something that you can erase is because if you make a mistake, this definitely is not even on both sides, it's okay. It's gonna be her wings, it's not a big deal. So now this is water soluble. So meaning that if I put water on these, uh, the black, of course, it's gonna smear a little bit. Do I care? Not really, not really. I'm just gonna take a light color paint. I'm just gonna use my antique white here. And I'm just gonna put a little bit here. And this is gonna be my layer. Let me grab my brush. This is gonna be my layer. So it's kind of like my gesso layer, like I tell you guys. And then we can kind of Okay, sorry guys. Um, one second, so sorry. Did you get daddy's text down? Yeah. Okay, so sorry guys. So I'm just gonna go in and I'm gonna take a little bit of my paint. It could be watered down. Remember, I want that hair to be looking, to look like it's over top of the wing. Okay, and you can see that Black is smudging a little bit, and that's okay. We're just laying our little gesso layer down. So if you have gesso and you want to use gesso instead, go for it. If you want to use Mod Podge, go for it. We're just kind of sealing it, but we're kind of giving an idea. If you're using your Mod Podge gel medium or whatever, and it's a clear, uh, it dries clear, you know, gesso comes in a million different colors, you can add a drop of white paint to it, just white acrylic paint or any color acryl acrylic. Metallic is on my mind. Any type of, uh, geez, any type of color that you have. Uh, so it makes it more opaque. So when you put it on, you'll be able to see it, if that makes sense. So you can definitely use a clear substance, uh, school glue, whatever you have, just so we kind of see where we're at. And I'm not being too fancy fancy. Oh, no. I'm just putting it on so I have an idea. Now I love that black. If you've watched my videos, you know I love outline and stuff and having shadows and all. Will that stay? I don't know. We never know. All right, let me just get this on here. All right. Okay, dokie. Make sure you watch her hair or don't watch her hair. It's up to you. I mean, if you don't care and you want the feather the uh, wings to be on front then do it okay and I don't care like I said that it's blending in I don't I just want to be able to see where I'm going to be at and what I want to touch up Okay, so now we see our wings, and I love them. Um, I'm probably, you know, there's texture underneath. You see that great texture underneath? That's fine. It adds texture, not a big deal. My wings are going to be white. You know what I mean? So I'm not worrying too much. The acrylic paint, as it blends with this black, um, will become a little bit more uh, permanent. But don't worry about it, because I go in with, you'll see, I'll, we'll, I'll show you when I do it. But we'll take all that off. It's no big deal. We just have our first layer down, and we have our wings. Now, you can see the wings don't look perfect. It could be that this one's a little, you know, the way she's standing. If you are a perfection freak, I don't believe in perfection, but if you're somebody who, um, I believe in OCD because I have it, but if you're somebody who is a little OCD over these kind of things and have to have a 
perfect wing. Here's what you're going to do. All right, let me move her. She's looking so cute. I'm just loving her. I'm sorry. I saw it. I saw it. Let me just show you what we're going to do. Let's pretend like that's our thing. And we're going to use our heart as a wing. Okay. And the wing will go up like this. Let me just get some more paints. You can also draw your, your wings, whatever way you want them and cut them out, you know, fold it, cut it out and then turn it the opposite way and draw it. Let me say, maybe I can do it for you. Let's see, but let's do this first. Here's our heart. Very simple. So I'm just going to go in and we're just doing our structure of, you know, our lay down of kind of where we want it. Right? So there's our one and you see how fast and furious I am. Gee, I wonder if there's a movie named after me. <laughs> oh, I cracked my ass up. Okay. So then you're going to lay your heart. You see where that heart is. We're going to lay that point going down this way. So you want to see it and you angle it the way you want it. You can also go in and sketch it with a uh, pencil to make sure it's exactly what you want it to be. And then we're just going to do this, but I'll show you a trick. All right. Very easy. And uh, every, we used to cut these hearts out when we were in school. So, so you see how it is a little messy because I wasn't paying attention, but look how great the wings are. Now you can go in with, uh, you can let that dry. You can go in with a Q-tip or your wet brush, clean up a little bit if you want. And, uh, then you'll go in with the pencil I just lost. Then you'll go in with your, whatever you want, pencil, watercolor pencil, and you'll just outline if you want to, you don't even have to outline, but you, I just want you guys to really see, see those wings. Look how simple use a piece of printer paper. That's how simple. And now you have your mark of where you want to be. Now here's the thing. Practice on a piece of scrap paper because you might want this wing going down a little more. You might want this wing up this. It's all in what your structure is of what you want it to be. Um, what was the other thing I wanted to show you guys? If you don't want to use paint, that's what I wanted to tell you. If you don't want to use paint, use a scrap of paper, cut those out in hearts, do that. A lot of us have the, uh, Sizzix and all those type of things. Use that and cut out a heart. It's, it's very, very easy, um, to get the heart, to get the wings. If you want more realistic wings, um, you can, let me see, you can just draw, it depends on the way you want see it's just drawing and it's really sketchy so you can just add some texture up here for the wings texture down there for the wings you have a whole other wing look and then you can bring it up you know and then you can add more texture when you're painting or whatever and that's a great wing look how i mean it's very simple didn't take a second uh you can go back in like i said and paint i'm gonna probably paint over this for a mixed media thing to send out but you see what I'm saying? And then you have a great wing and then you'll go in and make your, you can go in and, and do, you know, make some texture, use your molding paste or Mod Podge or whatever, or you could just leave it the way it is. And you have two different wings there. And that's the fun thing is that it's all in what you want to do and how you want to do it. So something else, like I said, I want you to see. And okay. And then, like I said, here we have her depends on what you want to do. And we have that down. So we're going to leave that dry. Put this over here. We're going to leave that dry and then we'll go in and we'll start adding some white. I like to add glitter. I'll put a nice coat of white on here and I'll do it on the video, but I do a nice coat of white. And then, um, I add some glitter in the next coat. So it adds some sparkle. It really comes to life, adds texture. This background is going to add texture. So we're getting there. And like I said, you can make these any way you want. You want them to be more pointed, it doesn't matter. This is the one I'm doing for this. Um, my hands are kind of not working with me. Right. And, uh, so I don't want to do too much, too fancy. Cause I want it to look, you know, I want it to look good. But again, <clears throat> those are what you can do. Very simple. This is a great, you know, this would have been a great one for this too. And I can always go back in. If I come back in the next video and most of you know, who follow me, I can change this in a minute and say, you know what? I want this to be more pointed. And then I'll, I'll do that. Who knows? Maybe I will. Maybe I will. So I can show you guys. I don't know. We'll see, but never worry. You're not going to make a mistake because we can go back in and paint these wings off if we want or, uh, situate them in a different way than this. So they look different if we want a different kind of wing. So there's so much to do. So you can see, I put another coat on her hair 
And um, we're going to do highlights and all in there, but we got the wings and it's so much fun. So that's it. As always, be kind to each other. You never know what battle somebody else is fighting. Quickly, I want to let you guys know, look down below. <clears throat> it's my Blitzy link. I'm going to put my, I, I don't think YouTube, I mean, my, uh, yeah, YouTube doesn't let me put the link to Blitzy in my uh video itself for some reason it says it's not a real link i don't understand youtube but if you go down below click the um more button i believe it says and where i have like my <clears throat> instagram and all that kind of thing and you're gonna see a blitzy link click that they have on sale the uh crayola <clears throat> oh god the crayola uh slick sticks that we use that i have the video on they have them on sale if my computer's going to quit being a jerk. They have the 12-pack on sale, and they also have the 6-pack. My computer's just not working with me here. And they are $10.10 on Blitzy. So, and that's for the 12. And you can also get the 5-color set for... Oh, this freaking computer, I swear. $6.20. No, that's not it. Click the link, click, look, click the Blitzy link down below. My computer's frozen. I can't believe it. Okay. And it keeps just moving on its own. And I don't quite understand. Crayola Twistable Slick Stick set of 10. And it's $10. And come on, you, well, I'm not going to curse. So it's $10.10 for the 12 pack. And it's $4 and some cents for the five pack. So click the link. And I will try to get this link in my thing. I don't know what the heck my computer's doing, but make sure you check it out. For all of you who wanted them and can't get to the store uh, or your stores don't have them, this is a great way to buy them. Blitzy's fantastic. And that's about it today. So be kind to each other. You never know about somebody else is fighting. And any questions, as always, just ask and keep tagging me with all your work because I love it. And I will talk to you guys later.